This is the note mode, and right now the note mode is set to a specific scale. All of these buttons that are the same color as the track are the root note. So whatever key that I'm currently in, I can press that by hitting those buttons. All the other notes that I can currently see are notes that are in a particular scale. And we can play this by simply starting with the root note and going three notes over and playing up, or we can just go all the way across. So I can play this particular scale like that, or I can play it going all the way across. And as I play notes that you can find in other areas, we can see that's green and that's green. It's the same note. Just gives you a variety of ways to play. Now, what if we want to play in a different key or a different scale? Maybe we don't even know what scale it defaults to. Well, there's a scale button right here. So let's press scale. And now, looking at the display, I can see the buttons up here, as well as the buttons down here. Let me change the key that I'm in. And I can scroll using this knob. Or again, I can use my arrow keys to navigate. And I can choose different scale types. So you default in C major. Generally, I like to work on a minor key, so I'm going to go down to minor. And typically when using an 808 kit, the kick drum is usually tuned to the key of G. Sometimes it's tuned to F sharp, it just depends. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and select the key of G by pressing this here. Now before we leave this scale mode, a few things I want to point out. We have a button down here, it says in key, and we can switch that to chromatic. The difference is that when in key is selected, every single pad here is going to play a scale degree. It's going to play a note that's in the particular scale that I've selected. So ultimately, I can't really play out a key. If I choose chromatic, now the notes that are in that scale are the ones that are lit up. The notes that are not in that scale are dark. So this gives me a chance to play within a certain scale, play within a certain key, and then also add color notes, notes that may not be in the scale, to just add a bit more variety to what I'm playing. This is something that occurs quite a bit in jazz and in blues. Now, I'm going to leave this on in key for now. Over here, it says fixed. Now, when fixed is on, let's go ahead and change the key. No matter what key that I change to, the display is going to stay the same. So, if this is C right now, because I'm in the key of C, and then I switch to G, the same pad in the same position is going to play a different note because the pad display has been fixed. If I turn this off, now, as I change keys, you see the root notes will shift. So the display does not stay fixed. So just depending on your preferences, you can adjust all that to your liking in the scale mode here. So I can get out of that. I've chosen a scale. Actually, you know what? Let me make sure I'm in the right key. I wanted to be in the key of G minor. So there we go. We got that set up. So now I think I'd like to start playing with something, start adding some sort of idea to the drumbeat that I currently have. 